Hey, welcome to the show. It's Saturday morning. Oh, my favorite day of the week. Isn't it nice? It's a glorious December Saturday. Um, this is the show where we watch crappy Saturday morning cartoons. Today, I pulled all those PSAs that would air, mostly in the late 70s, 80s, some in the early 90s, um, during the commercials, because networks at one point felt responsible to educate as well as entertain. Uh, so we'll, we'll see those in a minute. But uh, I first, think what the most famous one ever was. What's the um, most famous one ever? Well, probably, uh, I would say Schoolhouse Rock. Oh, know, yeah, yeah. That was a PSA. Those, yeah, those, okay. those would air in between, you know, cartoons and things like that. And sometimes these would air after school programming also had PSAs that would air. But I'm concentrating on the ones that I remember seeing on Saturday morning. So Schoolhouse Rock a little before my time. So I'm going to skip that since it's the obvious one and go into the uh, subsequent ones. Stoked. Um, yeah. But what's everybody eating for cereal? I'm still milking my uh, oatmeal cream pies uh, cereal. Yeah, I'm about halfway done. Um, but the, the back is actually kind of fun. I didn't show you guys this last time. They had these things. What's older, the cassette tape or the oatmeal cream pie? Oh. The, the ATM or the Nutty Buddy wafer bars? Uh, camera phones or classic brownies? Uh, email or Swiss cake rolls? And uh, you have to look up on the website to, to oh. find out the answer. So, uh, I like that yeah. little W trivia. It's kind of like the, the board game timeline where you got to arrange things by when they were invented. That's, right. uh, mm, yeah. that's cool. Really like useful it. information. For yeah. <laughs> also educational as well as delicious. Uh, Caitlin, do you have anything fun? Uh, no, I just have uh, Cheerios. Nothing, nothing thrilling. I don't even have the box. But I do have Rambo here with, uh, if I could show him, hold on. Yeah, a T-shirt that I can't wear that <laughs> Joe got me, <laughs> and uh, yes. he's gonna do his best to show it off. It's oh, it fits him perfectly at all. So I have to take it off. That shirt but, uh, leaves nothing to the imagination of Rambo. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty spectacular, Joe. Where did you I, get it? I saw it at a at a vintage store in my neighborhood, and uh, it, there was, it was a steal. And I was like, any any time I see Ziggy stuff, Caitlin, I'm gonna buy it for you. So that's, that's just a that's just a rule. No matter, no matter how threadbare, <laughs> no matter yeah, wonder, how sheer it is. Why it was a steal? <laughs> it's like, it looks like I someone mean, else's dog owned it first. It's, <laughs> it's it's made out of spider webs. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like a cloud. It's like a like a breeze could blow it away. Um, but but time pretty, for a break. It's pretty for fantastic, and it's advertising some. Uh, yeah, pizza in the company. So yeah, the pizza out. It's Ziggy pizza will in. chill out for everything. <laughs> He really will, won't he? Yeah. Like, who's more shameless, him or, or Garfield? <laughs> who's more shameless, would you say? I think Ziggy's a little more pathetic about it. So. <laughs> True. And this spoiler alert on Christmas morning, we'll be on Saturday watching Ziggy's Christmas gift with Caitlin. So it's a Ziggy Christmas for us. And maybe we'll see some other Ziggy merchandise you've got. I don't know if you've got some that's been undisplayed, but we'd love to see it. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Um, I got, uh, so I'm in um, Virginia and they have like a local grocery store called Harris Teeter. You ever heard of that grocery store? Yeah, I've, I've driven by it. Okay. It sounds like the airport you don't want to fly into, you know, like <laughs> I got a good deal, but they got me flying to Harris Teeter, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but they have their own like um, cereal. So this is a Harris Teeter snickerdoodle cereal. I've had, um, you know, funfetti cookies. I've had, you've got the oatmeal cream pies. Um, I've had sugar cookie cereal. I've had um, brownie. Are you cereal. just bragging right now? Is that what you're doing? You're just bragging? I'm just going through them all. And now <laughs> snickerdoodle. So yeah, we got little cinnamon snickerdoodle cookies. Pretty good. Nick, the question, the question I ask every time, does it have niacin in it? And if so, how much? It's got tons of niacin. <laughs> okay. How many, how many 20, milligrams? 25% of your oh. daily recommend. Oh, you're going to be. Nice. I thought you were flying a little high right now. Yeah. <laughs> yep, and dipping into the niacin today. George, George what do you got? Yeah. Uh, well, I have a healthy cereal. It's potassium, selenium, and acidophilus. It's called PSAs. Um, <laughs> I perfect wish. for today's episode. I oh, wish. Well, what are we watching? <laughs> oh, we're going to watch so much. But first, let's dive in with a commercial, not really a PSA, but one of those ones that's like some food council is trying to get you to eat something. And this is uh, this is one that was just bizarre. Eggs. Eggs are health. Eggs are strength. Eggs are good. Eggs are fun. Eggs are fine anytime. Eggs. 
Eggs. Eggs are health. Eggs are strength. Eggs are good. Eggs are fun. Eggs. Eggs. Eggs are fun. Anytime. I like the muscular egg. Yeah, <laughs> eggs are fun. Very attractive. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like that was like the director of Mentos commercials. Like that was the same director as those weird old yeah. Mentos commercials. Obtuse, foreign seeming. Um... <laughs> Don't really get the story. Yeah. yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess the eggs made him strong. <laughs> yeah. Not technically a TSA, but I guess it is sort of a public service announcement about eggs. Um, yeah, the Egg Council. Yeah. There's no real information about why PSAs were a, a thing really, but I know that um, in 1981, TV was being criticized, the kids' TV, for being too commercial. And people said, we need regulation. And I think to sort of get ahead of that, networks were like, we're gonna do police ourselves because we don't want the um, FTC coming and making these regulations. So we'll just do it you know, so that we don't have to uh, uh, have the government mandate it. And uh, eventually the Children's Television Act was passed in 1990. And that said a certain amount of TV and blocks for kids would watch it had to have educational value. So that's why you got like the Ninja Turtles, Turtle Tips and the, you know, in the cartoons with the, uh, the G.I. Joe the one. G.I. Joe ones that we've watched. Yeah. yeah. But um, and then essentially, though, what by the time that law was passed, cable was kind of taking off and then the need really was met by other things and they kind of just gave up and said, all right, we don't have to do PSAs anymore. You're, you're on your own kids. So PSAs are gone completely now. Yeah. I mean, for the most part, some networks are still doing it, but it's not, there's no, I don't think they feel any responsibility because there's the internet, there's cable, there's all sorts of different, it's not just the three networks anymore. Um, but ABC really in the late seventies took the helm and most of the things I'm going to be showing today are from ABC. And the first one that I remember watch, watching growing up was Time for Timer. Do you remember this sort of yellow blob wearing a cowboy hat that uh, yeah. was on a Saturday morning breaks? It started with um, an after school special called The Incredible, Indelible, Magical, Physical Mystery Trip that starred this guy whose name was a timer and he had a pocket watch and it was like, Hey, now it's time for dental health. Now it's time for healthy eating. And how long and, would these be? Just a couple minutes, 30 seconds to a minute Okay. during a commercial break for a cartoon. So um, the first one we're going to watch is uh, the one I, I think this is the one I remember the most. Uh, this is from 1975. And the voice of this guy is an, a guy named Lenny Weinrib, who was HR puff and stuff. He was the, title character in that and what i like about him is you got to start with spike jones's band the uh 1940s band leader and drummer and uh he's got a unique voice so here's a little bit of time for timer bang, bang, bang. oh howdy partner time for timer do you ever get that hungry feeling after school boy i do i'm so hungry i could eat a wagon wheel when I'm slow on the draw and I need something to chaw, I hanker for a hunk of cheese. When my ten gallon hats are feeling five gallons flat, I got something planned, which is little cheese sandwiches. Come on. Here's a great little snack to tide you over till dinner. What? He's small. I thought he was big. He was the size of the wagon before. He's sort of magical. I think he can change sizes depending on what's convenient for the animation. And what he's he hat can too. That's amazing. Yeah. Now he's a and what also like a, a not muscular version of the egg guy from the egg commercial too. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. It's like if he hadn't taken steroids, this is what he would look like. What yeah. is he? Do you know? Did they ever say? No, just a yellow blob. I always thought he was a piece of cheese because I just remember seeing the hankering for a hunk of cheese. PSA, but he did others too. I'll show you another one too that I remembered after I watched it. If you want something delicious and nutritious, cheese is a super snack. Look, a wagon wheel. When my get up and go has got up and went, I hanker for a hunk of cheese. When I'm dancing, I hold down and my boots kind of slow down, or anytime I'm weak in the knees, I hanker for. I like the animation on the knees there. Yeah, Always mind. disturbed me. I I don't know why. <laughs> I also sure like isn't... the uh, the flaccid, the flaccid hat from earlier. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> flaccid. Are you sure this wasn't put out by the Cheese Council. This one wasn't. No, it was just talking about. Yeah, say eat some cheese. Yeah, calcium and yeah, I guess I don't know. 
Big Cheese. Big Cheese got their hands on Time for Timer. Didn't get Nick, though. No, it didn't get me. So far, not a very vegan episode of Saturday Morning Cartoons. We got eggs, we got cheese. Anchor for a hunk of, a slab or slice a chunk of, a sniker day is a winner, and yet won't spoil my dinner. A hanker for a hunk of cheese. Yahoo! I might go as timer for uh, Halloween next year. I think that'd be a good good costume. I think that'd be tough. Yeah, yeah yellow blob. I don't know, maybe like a, I don't know, a garbage bag covered in yellow cloth. I don't know. I got my wheels are turning. But your here, wagon wheels. My wagon wheels. <laughs> Do you remember that one, Caitlin? It might have been before your time. Oh my gosh, yeah. not at all. I'm wondering if I'll know any of these. I did have a favorite <laughs> PSA, which uh, was the. Do you remember the California Raisins one that's like books? Check them out. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, that's not in this one. But we got to do a part two, and maybe we'll do some later era ones. Okay. Um, yeah. We talked about doing a California Raisins uh, Saturday morning. That that's one right. is so, so maybe we can good. play that. We'll play yeah. that during that. It's okay. probably why I'm a librarian today. And <laughs> these aired, by the way, up until the '90s. These uh, time for timer ones. So. He's aired for, you know, good almost 20 years. Uh, here's the other one I remembered. Uh, one of, these are two of seven that they did. Hi, time for timer. And time to make a week's supply of healthy after school snacks. Now some weekend when it's raining and your mother is complaining because you're hanging around just twiddling your thumbs. Tell your mom that you've been itching to make something in the kitchen. And oh yes, the mess will be. I thought they were going to be tell your mom to stop her bitch in there. Because it, like, yeah. <laughs> it was, you know, the rhyme was all there. Tell your mom that you've been itching to make something in the kitchen. And oh, yes, the mess will be a minimum. But the thing that's going to please her is you make it in the freezer. And nothing could be easier to fix. Now just watch as I go through it. Really, all you need to do it is some kind of juice and just a few toothpicks. Okay, now take an empty ice tray and fill it up with orange juice or lemonade or pomegranate juice or whatever turns you on. Then cover the tray with plastic wrap, carefully poke the toothpicks through the plastic, put it in the freezer, and in a few hours, presto, stacks of snacks. Don't wait until it rains before you try this nifty trick. You'll have a fun time making some guy on a stick. What'd you say? I like the way he's licking. The kid is licking. Oh, let me, let me some some real slurpers. Let me slow it down. Oh yeah, look at yeah. that. Mm. <laughs> some real slurpers. Yeah. This did make I did make them. Me too. Yeah. After seeing uh, this. after seeing this, yeah. My yeah. sister and I did it, and uh, they were good. I remember. Did you ever do that, Kaylin? Just make oh, yeah. popsicles. Yeah. Uh, okay, so the next ones I'm going to show also from ABC, 1974 to 1988. These were uh, called the Bod Squad. And they were all about nutrition and hygiene. And the songs were by Lynn Ahrens, who won a Tony for the musical Ragtime, amongst other things. And uh, these ones really stuck with me. The first one's called Don't Drown Your Food. And uh, you'll see the, the leader of this one, the singer, is a guy named Arnold Stang, who voiced Top Cat. He's like an old uh, vaudeville guy. One time making sunshine on a stick. I'm Lewis, a lifeguard, and happy to say I rescued a drowning potato today. They drowned it in sour cream. Oh, what a shame, because food's so much better when it's practically plain. So don't drown your food in mayo, salt, ketchup, or goo. Yuck, it's no fun to eat what you can't even see. So don't drown your food. Yeah, our, do you remember that one? Fam- no, I don't remember, but our family never saw it. Definitely never saw it. We drowned it. <laughs> we drowned our food in everything. Velveeta cheese, ranch dressing. It was drowning. Yeah. I didn't What's know going were- on in the back there? Back left. What are those? Corn? Oh. Corn cobs. What did you think it was? I, I don't, I, I really didn't know, and I, I was scared. I got to say, I still think of this every this TSA every time I put dressing on a salad. I'm like, oh, don't drown your food. And I try to be sparing with it. So hmm. it somehow weird. stuck with me. That's a weird PSA. It seems like there's more important fish to fry, you know, <laughs> in the realm of PSAs than don't put too much, you know, shit yeah. on your shit. Yeah, Height I mean, of the Cold War. Yeah. Don't I mean, drown your food. Stop okay. dropping. And yeah, it was like hiding under desks in fear of nuclear annihilation <laughs> from the Russians. But hey, be careful with that salad dressing. <laughs> don't, don't put too much sour cream on your baked potato. All right. So Scatman Crothers, who, you know, obviously from The Shining, but also was in uh, 
uh, Hong Kong Fui, who's the voice of Hong Kong Fui. He did a couple of voices for the Bod Squad. Uh, the one I thought was the funniest was um, Nutty Gritty. There's another one just trying to tell you to eat a, a food that they thought was healthy. Nutty Gritty, Nutty Gritty. It's a snack you can munch. Can I just point out that it's a, it's a nut eating other nuts? So That's it's can cannibalistic. It's just right off the bat, it's cannibalism, right? It's a yeah. food that has the word gritty in the name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nutty gritty. Mm. Back to good munch. And what's the, what is it on the right? Is that a chocolate chip or a, a Hershey's Kiss? Uh, or a hazelnut? A hazelnut? Brazil maybe? nut? Yeah. yeah. Nutty gritty. Nutty oh, I think gritty. it's a, one of those turd nuts. I think it's a turd nut. Quest. A turd nut, right. You take a, mm. a bunch of nuts, any kind will do. Throw in a bunch of raisins too, then invite a bunch of nuts to share with you your nutty gritty, nutty gritty. Do something good for your bod and brush your teeth Join after snap. Join the bod squad. Join the bod squad. All right, wow. this, the last one is the one I remember the most. It's for uh, it's it's by a guy kind of looks like Fonzie. Um, he's called the Chopper. They're going for shops in Peoria. They're jogging in L.A. They exercise and everything in lots of crazy ways. What take it from the chopper? Hey, the chopper, yeah, that's me. If you want to have great choppers, exercise your teeth. Exercise those choppers, really chew, chew, chew. Exercise those choppers. Of the three of the boys on here right now, who's who here? <laughs> mm, I'd, I'd like to think I'm the middle. Yeah, I'd go yeah. with the the blonder guy on the right and maybe George is the one covering up the turtleneck. Yeah. All right. Wait, yeah. Kaylin, does that check out? Yeah, that checks out. Okay. The turtleneck one looks like there was like a Bazooka Joe character that had like a turtleneck up to here. Yeah, too. that's right. It probably not there, also yeah. like Blade Runner. But... And also Pat Albert. Wasn't there a guy with the... Yeah. Yeah. He had the, uh, the, the other head. way around, right? Mushmouth. Oh. Or... Oh, yeah, but, yeah. Um, but, uh, and then Caitlin, you're a chopper because you're a leader. Okay. Good food. Once again, I mean, the food is apparently sentient. I mean, but he's just eating the celery. So that could be their friend. Right. That's my thought there. So it's never addressed. Or maybe it's their enemy. They're maybe celery. Be into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're they're enjoying watching Chopper. Looks kind of like Anson Williams, the uh, Potsy, more than the. Uh, yeah, because he's got more a little more doughy doughy yeah. to him. Um, okay, so the next one, also ABC, um, it was a series called Zack of All Trades. This is one called The Future Blob, another one I remembered. And uh, as somebody who hasn't had a real job, you know, <laughs> since uh, 1999, I think, somewhere around then, um, this one hit home. And I want you to guess who the singer was for these. Uh, take a look. Don't pout, check it out. Zack's going to show you what work's about. It's the blob. I am the future blob. Without a job, without a job. I am the future blob. What can I do? No need to panic, no need to get scared. You can make the future by being prepared. Ask what do I like to do? What jobs are suited to me? I like to skate. I like to go bowling. But my favorite hobby is cutting and sewing. You can get going. Like in VHS. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, there's no careers for you. <laughs> no business so. It's your job, it's your job, your future job. There are many jobs you can train for. Seamstress tailor, costume designer, alterations, pattern maker. I am the blob, the future blob. It's no blob when you plan for a job. Don't be afraid, make a career and get paid. Do your job, do your job, plan for a future job. And you won't see the mean of future blob. Any guesses? Uh, okay, good guess. What did he say? 
Just guessing who the singer was for these. Yeah, what did Joe say? Oh, LeVar. LeVar Burton. Oh, uh, um, Billy Ocean? Nope, another good guess. George? Uh, uh, Luther Vandross? It's Luther Vandross! Wow! Yeah. Um, I think I, the sexy singer of uh, the future blob. Uh, <laughs> all right, Caitlin, Captain OG Readmore, ring a bell? No, I'm okay. not. Familiar. All right, this was 84 to 86. Dick, so I got to say, I haven't seen any of these. And really? I watched Saturday morning cartoons. And wow. I remember I, the commercials. I remember like Applejack. I remember all the yeah. commercials. These, I'm, this must have been when I went to refill my bowl of cereal. Yeah, yeah. I, these just were, this was total like, nostalgia machine for me um i remembered george, all of them george have you seen any of these yeah i was i was watching these while you were pouring uh more salad dressing onto your breakfast cereal <laughs> <laughs> um yeah it's hard to draw on power bars in anything uh so captain og readmore was the uh fictional cartoon cat that hosted abc's weekend specials which were usually like a movie that they would make for kids um, but he was a cartoon, but then also a puppet. And I want you to guess who voiced um, the uh, the cartoon first. And this is obviously promoting uh, more reading. Who voiced OG Readmore? Yeah, who voices OG Readmore? Oh, it's Captain OG Readmore, like Captain Crunch, too. Mm. He's a captain of something. Must have served in some wars or some branch Korea. of the military. Korea. Yeah, like maybe. Korea. Probably yeah. Korea, but given his yeah. age. I'm Captain O.G. Readmore, a reading kind of cat. Read a book like me, you'll soon agree that reading is where it's at. Captain O.G. Readmore. Yep, you guessed it. It's, wow, I'd recognize that's that. That's Welker. That's Welker. Yep, There's here's a Welker. Everybody, everybody do a shot. <laughs> There's our first Welker. Of cereal milk. Oh. Here's another O.G. The original gangster. <laughs> <laughs> the O.G. <laughs> Oh, gee, read more here. Do you feel bored and restless? Like nothing's going right? I guarantee that reading books can help you change your life. Learn how to make and do things. Oh, look at that. Learn interesting new things. Oh, I didn't know that. Find adventure and excitement. Things to feel and things to be. Oh, yes, a book can really change your life. Just read a book. <laughs> You'll see. So then the live action ones where he's a puppet, um, same voice of Welker, but they have, would have celebrities kind of do the intros for these kids' movies. Uh, they had Vincent Price on one of them, but I thought this one was the most um, 80s. It's, uh, uh, well, I'll just show you. Oh, and by the way, he, this was uh, promoting the Saturday morning lineup. So they talk about the Punky Brewster cartoon, which we've heard. So you'll hear him call a familiar face from the Punky Brewster cartoon. A scary story shall be seen, a weekend special on your screen. Henry Hamilton graduate ghost with O.G. Readmore as your host. Okay, it cut off there, but here, here's the other one. Here are the hosts of the ABC weekend special, John Bauman and O.G. Readmore. Yes, that was the bungee venture. O.G., I just watched the show and I do not think there is any such thing as a bungee. <laughs> okay, so... Shanana. Do you are you familiar with Shanana? It's hard to I'm trying to explain what they were to younger audiences. They were a fake 50s band in the 80s, basically, right? Well, from the late 60s, because they were at Woodstock through the 80s. Right. So they had right. like many different like uh different lineups, but Bowser came in, I think, post Woodstock and became like the face of it, and by the late 70s. Maybe even mid, but like when when seven when fifties nostalgia was at its height, they had a variety show. Yes, and that's one of my earliest memories was seeing Bowser do that thing. Yeah, he him. would go like this, dude, 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 that, that guy that there. Yeah. Oh. yeah, he was like a fifties greaser, you know, and they would do these like "Good Night, Sweetheart" and songs like that. Um, they loved fifties greasers back then, didn't they? Yeah. The 50s nostalgia in the 70s was the weirdest thing to grow up with because I wasn't sure when I was alive. <laughs> um, <laughs> but that's kind of the same thing with like 90s stuff being huge right now, right? It's about 20 years, 25 years later, right? Oh, I just didn't know culture had moved on since then. I haven't really been paying oh, yeah, attention really since the 90s. Yet. So, right. <laughs> yeah. it's a thing is a bungee. Here, you talk to him. Well, I don't think there's any such thing as a power thing. So do 
So that was Walker's voice. Oh, doing a Gloomer. Yeah, it's basically doing oh. the Gloomer voice from Punky Brewster. But I think Bungie was a character in this uh, this uh, movie that was for kids. So, um, yeah, that is the most 80s thing. <laughs> it's shot on a, on a Captain O.G. Readmore special talking to a, another Welker creation. All oh, right. Fine. There's some PSAs. I've got to have some later ones, including some non-ABC ones, but I think it's time to get into some non-PSA commercials. What do you think, George? Absolutely. Saturday morning cartoons will be right back. Today, we're going to look at some station IDs from the California station KTZO. And you may notice a theme. KTZO Channel 20, San Francisco. That's Archie. Got what you're looking I love Archie. For. TV 20. KTZO Channel 20, San Maybe Francisco. Like, Clap their hands for several times. Held up a tree. We've got what you're looking for. TV trainer. 20. <laughs> KTZO All news Channel bumpers 20, should be this. San Francisco. Yeah. <laughs> Simple. So we've got what you're looking for. TV20. <laughs> KTZO. Genuine stereo here. TV20. San Startled. Francisco. It's poor dogs. <laughs> we've got what you're looking <laughs> for. Oh, don't scare the dogs. TV20. Don't scare them. KTZO Channel 20. Up. San Francisco. Just perennially scared. <laughs> Baby Carol. <laughs> we've got what you're looking for. TV 20. Not KTZO, Channel 20, San Francisco. <laughs> 3D uh, movies are coming to TV 20. TV 20. That's a crime, right? Yeah, right. Not that I haven't done to Marty. We've got what you're looking for. Royalty. TV 20. KTZO, Channel 20, San Francisco. I have no idea when this is going to end. I can watch this all day long. Keep going. <laughs> what yeah. you're looking for, TV 20. KTZO, Channel 20, San Francisco. Come on, more. I guess that was it. Oh, man. Those are so good. I don't think wow. really... you know, we, we have some more for, uh, for, for found footage. I think Volume 7, we featured some of those that, mm -hmm. uh, that weren't even in there, which implies that they made a lot of those. Yeah. Um, hey, I want to share a tidbit about making a dog um, look at something with a sound. Nick, you remember we were, uh, what was it, New York Post or Daily News? Daily News mm -hmm. was doing a story on us. They came into the office and Nick had Marty with him. And the photographer came in to take photos of us. And he got the best photos of Marty from making a sound. This was his secret. And I'm telling it to everybody. So before you take your dog's photo... And uh, where, is Rambo there, Caitlin? I, I had to put him downstairs because he was barking oh. too much <laughs> during that. Well, well, show him later. Here's, show him later. Here, here's the sound that you make as you're about to take the photo. You go. You kind of make an elephant sound yeah. with your lips. You go. And then they instantly have a really cute pose. And it works oh. every time. And I wonder if that's what they did for those KTZOs. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've used that since when that's taking it. photos of Marty. So that, that one stuck with me. Yeah. Did you notice that when I did it, George kind of cocked his head a little bit? <laughs> yeah, no, I, it works with people. <laughs> works with certain people. Yeah. <laughs> well, I realize we, this might be the one show where we're not selling anything in particular. I mean, we haven't, I mean, eggs, I guess, but mm -hmm. there's cheese been, and cheese, cheese, but no like products, even with the commercials. So yeah, we're selling a lifestyle well in fact we're taking products away with the the don't drown your food thing that's true you we're know? saying don't yeah have dips and dressings don't overdo it don't consume so much yeah now back to saturday morning cartoons uh so the the next one i want to show i believe this one was yeah this is also abc you remember the flintstone kids the uh oh yeah i could sing that song right now me too it was about the flintstone kids Oh yeah, for the vitamins. vitamins. But do you remember yeah. the do you remember the show Flintstone Kids? 
Oh, no, I just remember the vitamins. Oh, yeah, there was a, a show where it was like, you know, Muppet Babies, and it was that era. So Flintstone Kids, ABC rebooted the Flintstones, but it was the second generation, or it was when they were oh. kids. So you have Little Freddy, um, and you have, uh, oh, by the way, Little Freddy was voiced by Lenny uh, Weinrib, who did Timer and HR Puff and stuff, and also was the original Scrappy Doo. But this They're is all the, dip it in the same well, aren't yeah. they? That's all Especially very Especially ABC, yeah. So yeah. this is a this is a song I uh, I still remember. It's you know the uh, Dem Bones, the song you know the leg bones connected to the eh, but like that's the classic version of the song. I only know the Flintstone Kids PSA version. Here it is. Take it easy on that slateboard, Freddie. Be careful. You too, Dad. Don't forget to sing a song of seatbelt safety. Huh? Oh, yeah. The seat belt connected to the frame zone. The lap strap goes across the hip bone. The shoulder strap angles or the chest bone. So hear the words of the law. Those belts, those bones, those seat belts. For safety's sake, wear seat belts. I'll properly wear seat belts and heed the, the words of the law. law. Sometimes kids have to remind grown-ups. Yabba dabba buckle up. Yeah, but have a buckle up. <laughs> it doesn't work. No. It doesn't sound like do at all. <laughs> Not at all. Um, so, but it, uh, NBC also got in on it. In 1982, they did a series of, I, I, I guess you could call these educational PSAs. And these are like um, a fuzzy memories.tv is the Museum of Classic uh, uh, Chicago Television. So they're digitizing all these tapes of old things taped off TV in Chicago. And this is an amazing project. Um, and yeah, he happened to get one of these, bet you don't know. This one features Eric Estrada from a show about the California Highway Patrol called Chips. Bet you don't know. Who, me? Bet you don't. Oh. Catch this. Bet you stick a gum, you don't know which pair are twins. It's a bet, the ones that look alike. Wrong. Both pairs are twins. John and Mary are fraternal twins. Even though they were born at the same time, they grew from separate eggs in their mother's womb. That's why they don't look alike. Will and Bill are identical twins. Grew from one of them split. Womb. Terrifying. <laughs> Here, you win. I didn't bet you. She did. So I guess that was educational. You can learn about fraternal and paternal twins, I guess. Well, you don't see w wombs on any Looney Tunes. Oh. No, I don't think they ever mentioned wombs once. Great yeah. point. <laughs> NBC. Also, the identical yeah. ones were named rhyming names. Will oh. and Bill. Like, oof. No, did they? I missed that. Yeah. Oh, that's. You know, we worked at Blockbuster Video and we, um, there were a pair of, uh, one of the twins worked, but we never met the other twin. But there was a very sarcastic, jaded um, woman we'd worked with. His name was Peppermint and her middle name was Candy. And her twin sister was named Cinnamon Candy, middle name and then last name. Wow. And I was like that. I there got to be bitter, miserable people uh, as adults because well, I think it's a boy named Sue kind of a thing. You yeah. Know, Johnny Cash's boy named Sue. Like, I feel like that's what they did. So they'd have to they'd be yeah. stronger people because they'd have to live with that name. I remember having like getting promoted to manager and having to tell Pepper, uh, Peppermint Candy, uh, can you watch your language around the customers? <laughs> she was that foul mouthed. <laughs> Um, get a real candy mouth. Yeah. <laughs> so one one to grow on. Do you remember these from NBC? Oh, there we go. Okay. Now we're talking. Yeah. 80, 83 to 89. These were taken. Um, they all featured celebrities. Some, actually, most of them from adult-oriented sitcoms, but from the NBC family. And like uh, Emmanuel, the... Uh, the no, not that, no, not that, not oh, that okay. adult-oriented. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, just ones that aired after nine o'clock in the Midwest, you know, like, um, for example, Night Court. <laughs> Let's just talk about how horrifying that is for a moment. Just this morphing of, like, I, I remember that as a pudgy kid, the uh, the, the the pig guy yeah, every Sunday, morning, and uh, I was always thinking about that, and while well, I was eating this is food. almost like ralph plimpton body horror yeah. you know crazy. Ooh. Ooh. wait george Every... you would always think about the, the the pig boy yeah while i was eating you know whatever gig like an entire bag of smart food popcorn right. yeah, like 52 <laughs> grams of fat an entire like ice cream uh, like dish included like bowl <laughs> included yeah 
Hi, I'm Richard Maul, and I'll be right back with one to grow on. Now, Grammy and Grampy are looking forward to spending this weekend with you while your father and I go away. Do we have to go? We're going to miss you. It'll be fun. Grampy's going to take you to the movies and then to lunch at Hot Dog Hanks. We're here. They'll never come back. What do we do? You don't have to do anything but enjoy yourself. Your parents are only going away for the weekend, not forever. Sure, you'll miss them when they're away. That's a natural feeling. Just like when they miss you, when you go away to camp or to school. But you always come back, right? So will your parents. So don't worry. Everything will be just fine. <laughs> Hey, everything okay? We had a great weekend. When are you and Mom going away again? <laughs> and that's one to grow on. Did, did he have a uh, catchphrase on the show? Okay. <laughs> he didn't even tell it is. <laughs> I know. It, and it, I mean, the, Night Court was a show that was mostly sex jokes. You yeah, know? not yeah. we're a lot of little kids, big fans. Of I don't know. I'm John Larroquette, and this is one to grow on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think uh, I knew who he was just from probably the commercials. He was always the funny one. But like, he, we never yeah. watched the show. Our family didn't watch it. We did. He even had a ventriloquist dummy uh, that was in one episode <laughs> that I always wanted. Um, so, uh, so this is another one featuring, I think this was an adult uh, show just because it was an action show, but probably more for kids. This is another guy who hosted one of our Saturday morning preview specials. Hi, I'm Dwight Schultz, and I'll be right back with one to grow on. He played, uh, what's his name, Murdoch? Murdoch, Mad, yeah, Howling Mad Murdoch. Howling Mad Murdoch from A-Team, who's the clinically insane member of the A-Team. <laughs> it's a character trait. Sam yeah. Or I wonder if they had to do this for, like, probation reasons or something. You know? I think, yeah, it was part of their NBC contracts. So this one was start... What does well, what I was, to I was grow on like, mean? <laughs> Yeah, I was like DWIs or something. I, I looked it up because I didn't know what one to grow on meant either. And apparently it's the tradition of putting an extra candle on a birthday cake and saying, you know, you know, you're third turning oh, 10, man. but we're doing 11 and that's one to grow on. Oh, you, you I've never that? heard that in my life. <laughs> didn't either. Uh, huh. But yeah, I didn't know what that phrase meant. And I looked it up and that's what it is. So this one, I was just watching these and I don't know that anyone's realized this before but i realized that there was somebody familiar in the uh the little reenactment they do here where are you going honey oh joe white and i are gonna go play some ball isn't he the new boy down the block uh-huh i don't know if i like that boy adam oh mom there's something about him that's different maybe you shouldn't play with him hi adam hi Mr. step <gasps> ring a bell yeah it's urkel there is he is. Urkel? Yeah, that's Urkel for sure. Yes. Wow. And the mom knew that that kid was going to turn into <laughs> Urkel. Yep. <laughs> and she and he even says, and then when I rewatched it, he even says Jaleel White's coming over. So listen, he, oh. he says his uh, full name. Where are you going, honey? Oh, Joe White and I are going to go play some ball. Isn't Jaleel White and I are going to go ball? play some uh -huh. ball. I don't know if I like that boy, Adam. Oh, mom. He always wants something cheese. Something about him that's different. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't play with him. He's a nerd. Hi, Adam. Hi, Mr. Stepman. Boy, it can be tough when Hi, your parents think differently about one of your friends than you do. But there is a way to Laura, solve the sweet. problem of choosing between dropping one of your friends and disobeying your parents. Find out what it is that you what folks don't like set? about your friend. I, I really hope we find out. <laughs> Poets contrive. Pig. What, pigs provide? That's awesome. <laughs> oh, oh, you but guys need to make that. <laughs> poets contrive, but pigs provide. And then is there a picture of him on there? I don't know what's up with his, <laughs> his collar, but yeah, we should make that. Shirt. It's a t-shirt. Like it's a, t it's a, the t-shirt uh, can be purchased. Really? Uh, it looks like a what's homemade the image? shirt though. Uh, it's, oh, it's, it's in the chopping spree episode of the A-Team season two, episode 19. So it's not actually, oh. this is, from the website T-shirts on screen, which, huh. which tracks down. <laughs> well, we got to wow. make it. And we should make that cap and give it to Steve for one of his, uh, you know, obscure <laughs> minor that, that league was, team. That was shockingly fast, George. Yeah, like, nice research. Just typing and every like, wow. Good job. And at Good the job, same George. time, assure them that you're not so foolish as to let somebody rope you into trouble. That way they can give your friend a chance and rest easy about you. 
I'll tell you what, Mom. I promise I won't get Urkel into won't any trouble. won't be bothering us anymore. And Mom, if you get to know Jerry, you'll like him. Why don't you invite him to dinner next week? All right, Mom. Hey, Urkel. <laughs> And that's one to grow on. George, can you pull up a picture of that shirt? Um, I can't find one that shows any more of it than than, than what we just saw. Yeah. Oh, okay. They're, they're all, he he. But it seemed like we'll people have to use had... our imagination, I guess. They, they've, <laughs> they've sold three so far. So <laughs> let, no, let I, me go. Okay, go ahead. No, it looked like somebody had, was trying to make one some years ago, but that the link is dead. And then they're like, wait a second, nobody will buy this. <laughs> Nick, Nick will buy it. <laughs> well, so then let me go to the one from 1988. Um, this one also features a, a celebrity that I thought was a, a strange choice for a, a kid's PSA. They're, these are called ABC Fun Facts. They're each 20 seconds long. When I came to America, I was very excited. So this man said, Jakob, you got ants in your pants. I said, no, but I got uncles in Russia. The fun fact is, in South America, special ants are used instead of stitches. Then they're peeled off. That's why ants stay away from the medical school. <laughs> what? <laughs> it just, it, it was like, it was like the strobe light. It just happened so fast. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> stitches with bugs, like, what the... <laughs> So they only got 20 seconds to be educational here and make you laugh. So, yeah, I do remember these like maybe during the Beetlejuice cartoon or something like that. But yeah, uh, they didn't really they blink your eye and they're done. though. Exactly. So the one I have to end with is a PSA that is I think we may have shown this one before. I think George may have dug this up, um, but I think it's the greatest PSA of all time. Also features a celebrity from the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. <laughs> I'm Captain Lou Albano talking about drugs. Kids, don't be afraid to say no. Anyone that asks you to use drugs is not your friend. Drugs can and will kill. Remember, don't be afraid to turn to your priest, your rabbi, your minister, your moms, your dads, your teachers, because drugs can kill. And if you do drugs, you go to hell before you die. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my God. That's yep. the best one. It's yeah, not wrong. That's, uh... That's, that's horrible. <laughs> and then he, hell before you die? Yeah, just remember oh. the last thing he says. And then he has one little, I think he has one final thing he says. Let's listen to that. And if you do drugs, you go to hell before you die. Please. Please. <laughs> Please go to hell <laughs> before you die. That's incredible. Oh, that is, that's also a great insult. You're going to go to hell before you die. <laughs> oh, yes. And, before a fight. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that would have worked on me, though. I'd be like, all right. Yes. Captain, yeah. All right. <laughs> Captain Lou, who's also Mario. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Confused. It's so strange. Um, hey, we have an update on an old Saturday morning cartoons from season one. Occasionally, people will be inspired to send us items or drop pictures from the cartoons, and none. Uh, more maybe than Super Globe Trotters, the Harlem Globe. Oh character. yes, okay. So Patrick from Atlanta, he's an artist. He, first of all, this is this is how it arrived in the mail. Like, look at this. This is how he sent Ooh. it to us. Like, look at that. Oh, is that shows your raviolis guy? That shows your raviolis. That's oh, Rich wow. Raviolo. That's nice. incredible. Yes, it's so good. And uh, the, yeah, he did that for the envelope. But he made this for the four of us here. Um, he here's Nick. He, he made us into Super Globe Trotters. He made uh, Nick into Gizmo, and that's pretty like that looks like Nick, doesn't it? Fantastic. Nick, put yeah. your face right up to the, to the <laughs> and yeah. make that uh, you know shape with your mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, then we got uh, George is uh, multi, <laughs> multi man. I'm okay with it. All right. You want to put your face up to it, George? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yep. And then we got me as Spaghetti Man. Like, wow. That's pretty good. Look at it. That's flattering. Really yeah. <laughs> so yeah. they're all a little grotesque, which I think is. Oh, a, yeah, yeah. It's exactly. they're all a little yeah. grotesque. Yeah. I'm jealous that you get to be Spaghetti Man. Well, well we all want no, don't be jealous. Look, look who you get to be. I'm, I'm a little scared about this. <laughs> you should be. You should absolutely be scared. You're super sphere. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's me. You're super that's so sphere. Me. <laughs> Get, put your face up there. Right startling. There. If your yeah. face was more yeah. ball shaped, yeah. yeah. Accurate. Got the glasses right. So, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, thank you, Patrick from Atlanta. Uh, you, you knocked it out of the park. He was saying, he's like, 
he goes, have you guys thought about doing some sort of like a adult swim type show with uh, us as characters? He's like, I would love to uh, illustrate it and uh, animate it and uh, let's, let's work on it. So think of some ideas like what, it, like, what are we? Are we like Super Globetrotters 2 or are we, uh, I don't know. Can we, they're, they're ro we're, alive? we're robotic VCR enthusiasts. Okay. All right. Let's workshop yeah. that. And I just, yeah. we should, whatever we are, I think we should be in a buggy. I think we should just drive around in a buggy well, and solve I, I think you're required that talks. by law to be yeah. a buggy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, just necessary. Yeah. Uh, uh, so we learned so much today about drowning food and twins, but uh, did we learn anything else? Oh, and I think twins. All right, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think, I don't know about you, but I learned something. Mm -hmm. Public service announcements taught several generations of Americans how to be better consumers and citizens. Those children have since grown up Children's? Those children. <laughs> Is that apostrophe those, us? Yes. <laughs> those children have since grown up to inherit the culture and the government, but few would argue we are in better shape as a civilization. We, we may know how to make a healthy wagon wheel out of cheese and crackers, but you'd never find one on any fast food restaurant menu. We may be able to recite a song explaining how a bill becomes a law word for word, but you can't get us into a voting booth. And we may have learned that knowing is half the battle, but we assume the other half of the battle was deploying ta tactical nuclear missiles to client nation states. So before we preach to kids how they should live their lives, we might want to fix the world around us first, so they actually have one to grow on. And that's why I occasionally say, the more you battle is twice the knowing. Love it when you occasionally say Amazing. that. Yeah. <laughs> I do too. Yeah. Powerful stuff. It, speaking it, of voting PSAs, mm -hmm. I'm going to play one at the very end of this episode. It's from a surprising group of little creatures we may have seen in a previous episode. Um, I want to just say one thing that I learned is that George writes these during the episode. <laughs> mm -hmm. we you may have noticed. Before, before, we, we did the, before we started, George was like, well, I'm writing it right now. He writes it as it goes along. That's incredible. I know. That way he can incorporate things like the wagon wheel of cheese into yes. it because he's just seen it. So that way I can flub during <laughs> while reciting it for the first time. The flubs are, the, they make you human. They're the only thing that does. So, uh, <laughs> all right. I'm going to draw my sticker doodles. We all learned a lot. And uh, um, happy Saturday. Happy, happy Saturday. 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 But you're old enough to make a difference. Tell your parents to register. And